like to watch your way of getting fucked by other men. Do you believe in science? Are you missing a chin? If so, it's okay. I don't judge. I support the CUM movement. Express yourself. Be unique. Hello and welcome people to Cookout Simulator. Life is a better meal cook. My dear friend personally gifted it to me, demanding a review from me. As the good and greedy friend I am, I accepted the free content. It's not only one game, it's two actually. I truly appreciate the support from my friends to fuel my autism. And I believe you, the viewer, may be a better cook. No judging. As the quote goes, if she's happy, I'm happy too. Inspiring and revolutionary. I don't really know what point I'm making, I'm just being mental. Cookout Simulator is, as the title says, a game where you play through the eyes of a progressive beta cook, soy redditor, and holy shit, where is the chin? Your wife is heavier than a well and is fucking a black dude while you're watching and getting off to it. You have two kids, one of them a baby, the other a rat. Both of them are not yours. The rat even says the black man is not his father. The loading screen takes a million years to load and the developer is very self aware. The story you get back home from work with some cash money, you meet Aaron Jr., whose eyes stare at your soul. There is a way to kill the baby, just let the door open and maybe a car will run it over. I still haven't done it. Go upstairs and- <gasps> They're having sex without you watching, how dare they. Your wife screeches at you and Tyrone demands your money. As the good cook you are, you give the money and leave. But there is a way to watch, go hide in the closet. But don't worry, they're not oblivion NPCs. Your wife continues to screech at you. There is a loud noise outside, it's your son Dishon, or shortly, the rat, coming back from school. He wants to be a Fortnite pro player and a rapper. He mistreats you, but he also follows Forson, so he is very based. In your own room, you have funky pops and you can actually browse Reddit through the in-game laptop. I'm not browsing the website, I'm not mentally under the wall. There are four locations you can explore, your house, the nightclub, the office and Chinatown. There are two cycles of the day, day and night. A day you can only go to work, at night you earn your freedom. You need to pay $150 to go in the inside of the nightclub, but oh well, you're too poor anyways. Wake up the next morning, the little rat is flossing on your car and then doing the Fortnite dance. And he's the reason you're 37 seconds late for work. Your boss will make some changes to your office. The company you work for is Globocorp, a very progressive one. All the people in the office are generic NPCs. We live in a society. On the walls he has some good quality memes like Hard work it pays off later Laziness pays off now Or my employees are working hard I can tell because I can hear the clicking of their chains through my office door. One of the NPCs has a very spicy folder open. It took me some time to see what he was looking for and I... <clears throat> I screenshotted it for research purposes. After every work day you earn $95. When you get back home and get to your room, Mr. Ratman has stolen all of your funky pops and hid them over the map for a TikTok challenge. Society whips us apart. The game did say the pops can be out of bounds and I did go outside the map to search but there were none. There is one in front of your house's window though. Go to work again and then go to the nightclub. Buy the expensive ass ticket. Inside the club you will meet a real anime girl who rolls you hard and wants drugs and $1000. When you return to work again, your workstation has changed quite a bit. It's not the wedge catch 9000 and it's intended to improve your productivity. Just as democracy intended. The next day you will get a letter from the developers to show you the mail system and the hotkeys on the bottom left. M for the map, G for the soy face reaction selfie and B for the inventory recipes which I don't know how to get or how they work. After two to three days maybe the police are going to show up all around your house even in your backyard. And how did they get their cars in my backyard? I don't know. They want Tyrone arrested because he's a criminal. The police seems to have a deep voice changer for some reason. While I'm stitching on Tyrone the baby just roams outside next to the police. Tyrone demands his blicky to shoot the pigs down. He can either lie or give his gun. If you give him the blick you enter an endless mode of shooting police officers. Proud to be an American citizen. But you have to lie to him. Him. If he dies during the wife, you get to meet a glowing federal. I knew that they exist. That they was right. We live in the Matrix. A lie to Tyrone and give him to the police. You can bail him out if you got the money. Your real wife is gone. What a tragedy. On the next day, go to the police station, talk to the police officer, and entertain yourself with the rose they give to each other. You learn that the bail is $775,000. Chinatown is locked, but you can unlock it. Go to the nightclub and talk to the barman. Mr. Chen will tell you to go to Chinatown. It's now unlocked to travel. Go to Chinatown. A nice lady, Ling Ling, will introduce you to the place you can't pay with dollars because as she says it's funny money and soon be Zimbabwe dollars they only accept Chinese yen the rate is one dollar for three yen if you insert her English excuse you can reduce it to 2.7 yen in Chinatown there is a strip club bar hotel game star pharmacy hardware store arcade and Starbucks in the pharmacy store they don't offer drugs it's only medications I know from personal experience near the arcade there will be a guy who is feeling depressed he will ask you to become his personal therapist what a poor decision to make
In the arcade you can earn tickets to buy prizes from the stand. You get free 40 tokens from the arcade cashier. And I gamble them. There are some games you can play but they are mostly out of order. Like the claw machine and crossy border. The border game as it can be seen is about immigrants peacefully crossing the border. The working machines are everything that fuels my crippling gambling addiction. The slums of India and LGGBBDTTQQUIPPP25NBGVSQSRS. The dancing game, trans revolution, too bad you're lacking estrogen. The wheel of genders, spin it to use a magic spell to your friends like Neutruis or Liquidation. You can't enter the strip club because you don't have a pass. The anime girl in the nightclub is the pass. You can get the drinks from Chinatown but later on in the story. Go to the knockoff version of GameStop. Buy the Nintendo Snitch from the very trustworthy Chinese businessman. Buy the games Anime Girl, Genocide, Cook Sauce and Night 7. They are in-game games from entertainment or achievement horse like me. In the closed store you can buy cosmetics which increase your stats. Go to the bar and talk to the depressed boy. Order some soy beverages and convert your client into a cook protege. A new subject and 60 dollars. By the way, I cannot stop looking at their tits. Men's been gifted by God. Go to the toilet and pick up a funky pop figure. Sadly, you can go to the woman's bathroom, which truly really live in a society. The game which you bought from GameStart are sitting next to this one. The first one, Anime Girl Genocide, has two chapters which are just hunting anime girls. The second one, Kirk Souls, Dark Souls, but so you only fight one boss and it's quite hard to beat. Because the mouse movement is so broken that I have to aggressively move my mouse to Antarctica. The third one, Night 7, it's Tyrone against the corpses before, which has been made into a different game on Steam, which I will review later on. After after 2 days I think a drug deal will appear just right of the clothes shop. I don't know how but if you do the same like me, go to the pharmacy store, buy some medicine, offer it to the anime girl and, and after 1 to 2 days go to Chinatown and check right of the clothes shop. From there buy some weed and if you wish some acid taps. Go to the nightclub and give her the good shit and the strip club will be open for your eyes. In the strip club you're going to see a real anime girls dancing. There is a way you can remove the clothes, you just need to buy the DLC and press the big red button. The bartender in all places is the same dude, you can meet Dong, the club owner when you have spent enough money on the anime girls but you have to wait until the next patch to meet him you can make one of the anime women to dance on you but you need to be a patron subscriber sadly i'm not and i will never be because of my short memory i forgot to tell you but when you spoke to the police officer he told you to talk to your boss for a day off to visit tyron go to your workplace and ask him there is an anime chick making offers with your boss your boss politely rejects your demands and as the non-selfish and greedy person he is today you won't get paid society hits us again go back to the police station and this time the officer gives you a deal 95 dollars for a visit tyron will straight up ignore you and continue his grind. The following day, the right side of the house has been vandalized, beware of Kukhod. Ask Dishon to describe the criminal and he describes himself, but you're too retarded to get it. But first, go to the nightclub and a bold big bearded man will be there. Talk to him and join the seminal order to become a manly man. Every time you speak to that dude he will tell you a lot of not normal stuff like how he likes to eat ass full of poop because it tastes good. Then go to the hardware store in Chinatown and buy the 788 cues. Go to the hotel, it will be open now. The owner is the same dude from the game store. Shop. You can ask him if he has seen your wife. You describe her as a beautiful woman while the Chinese man calls her a fat ugly bitch. She's in room 201 but if you go to the last floor and push a brick wall a very unnerving room will be behind it. The China man ain't no joke. When you enter your wife's hotel room you'll see her depressed and drunk. She doesn't care about Tyrone. She only cares about the cock. Until you find her BBC she will not come home. Go home and clean your vandalized house. Make sure you farm some money because you're going to spend it a lot. Then the next day probably ask Dishon how to free Tyrone. His suggestion, rob a bank. You saw your outcome, take a fat loan. A new location is available, the bank. There is a letter in your mailbox, open it and you will see a tent in your neighbor's backyard. There is nobody there, wait until night time. You can go to the bank at daytime only. Go to the bank and create a global bank prestige bronze account. But you need 300 dollars, I didn't have that much money. But the bank lady is kinda dummy thick. Go back home and go to your neighbor's backyard and talk to Wayne. He will blame you for stealing his wood and will demand it back as well some food cause he was banned from the supermarket. Buy the wheat and the food from Chinatown, the food is bought from a suspicious Indian restaurant. Bring it back to him and he will tell you that you didn't steal his weed, he smoked it all and forgot what happened. He can't repay you with money but he can tell you about anti-gravity, time dilation and zero point energy. You need to give him more to repay. You need 30 branches, 20 metal ingots, 10 boxes of screws, 2 glue bottles, a shovel, 3 energy drinks and 500 dollars. The branches you can get from shaking the trees in your neighborhood, the energy drinks from the vending machine in Chinatown, the rest from the hardware store. Go to the nightclub and interact with a poster on the comb. There will be a concert from Ying Rose with his hot single Wii. One of the guests is called Lil HAV. He can be your wife's new replacement. The next day the troll will ask you to take him to the concert but he politely declined and the kid lost you hard time. Go to the nightclub, pay $150 to see the concert. Your son is there and he didn't even have to pay for the ticket and membership. Sadly you missed the show but Dishon got you back. He made Rosco perform a very emotional song to you. After the performance go talk some business with Yang but he's 17. That leads your character in a shock, paralyzing him from the top to the bottom. But he will turn 18 
money in two minutes. Go to the toilet and straight up tell him you want him to fuck your wife. I offered him $500 to fuck her and he accepted. Go back home and your car has been vandalized with some nice words towards you. Ask the troll who did it and pay $50. It's the same person as before. How could I have known? Go to Chinatown. A new shop has been opened and it's a mechanical one. You can repaint your car. I chose green because I thought it would burn my eyes. But when you go home to your car, only the doors are painted and nothing else. Go to the bank when you have enough money and create your bank account. You have to pay $1 a day. Your withdrawal is limited to $50 a day. Your bank account has minus 10% API interest rate. I don't know, but they might be scamming me right now. Apply for a loan and wait until next time. There are four levels of bank accounts, bronze, silver, gold and diamond. Only difference is the interest going up and as diamond you can go to the VIP launch. There is nothing in the VIP launch, I checked. When you have earned $500, go to the hotel in Chinatown and meet Young. But you cannot watch the sex. How sad. Then go to the bank and your loan has been declined. Wonder why. Then go to the hotel again and Young didn't even fuck your wife. The motherfucker fucked off and scammed you. I wouldn't blame him to be fair. You cannot find him anywhere. You can only steal his shoes in the apartment. After a few days, I think you'll get a mail from Gobo Bank. An invitation to an art exhibition by Ashley the Leopard, a trans woman of color. Go to the gallery and witness something unique. The exhibition contains contains 5 drawings and they are pretty interesting. The first one is called Equality, it's a self-portrait and represents that we are all equal, but some of us are more equal than others, very democratic. The second one does not have a name, but it can mean a thousand words, but unfortunately, I don't know that many in my dictionary. The third one is called Labels and it represents the word that people call her, fat. It means fabulous, amazing and trendy, not frantically, astronomically, tremendously obese well. The fourth one is called HIV is empowering, I have no words anymore. She even shoots the curator. The fifth one is called evil people, it's about people being evil. That concludes the exhibition and now you can bet money for the art. It doesn't matter what option you choose, you're going to get outbid by a female NPC with 6 million doors who exploits her husband. You make an idea to make an exhibition yourself to help bail Tyrone out. You ask her for a favor, which she accepts only because you want to bail Tyrone out. She will give you the items needed for your exhibition. On the big canvas in your home, you can insert an image. I chose a good one. Here's my art. I call it the Snickers Man. It represents the oppression from society and how it manipulates us in taking the normal pills. But the Snickers Man is the light guiding us to go against the evil system of society. After a few days your exhibition will come. I told them that my inspiration was the current state of society and there was an uncontested bidder for my art. His bidding was $3 and he didn't even want my art. He did it only for the funny. I didn't even profit, I went broke. But there is a reporter who wants to comment on Tyrone's story on the news. The people who you talk to will not take it seriously because we all know fake news. After even more days the Oscars with a K are being broadcasted. Before the start this show straight up calls them pedophiles and worshippers of satan. Chris Rock is the commentator and he rolls Kirk Smith's bald wife into oblivion and Kirk Smith shoots him with a pistol multiple times. The next day talk to Dishon and you find out that Chris Rock is not dead but he's in the hospital and of the shots Smith shot only two hit and he's in prison now next to Tyrone. But first gather all the resources needed for Wayne and the money and give him the supplies. Then you need to wait a week. After a few days you will get a mail again from the gallery but they are selling art from another artist. Hunter Bedin. His art is quite schizophrenic. Go back to when he had done a bunker and when you go inside it, he has made it into a hiding place from the Federals. All his gear is from the 80s because after that the government tracks him. And he believes that there is a world underneath us and the Hyperborean race is real. But the government doesn't want you to know that. You have to wait a few days until he's finished with his progress. Go to the police station and meet Kirk Smith. He doesn't feel any regret and he wants you to return his wife's honor and kill Chris Rock. You decline at first but Tyrone pressures you to do it because more money. You can't kill him, it's not in the game yet, maybe next patch. Return to Wayne again and he has a quest for you. He thinks nothing is real in here and he will give you glasses which glimpse into the other plane. And you can see the feds who glow in the dark. And a device. Go to Chinatown and go to the right of the strip club. You will see a glowing female federal. The prophecy was true. Just reach the fed and she will disappear. Put the device on and return the next night. Take the device and give it to Wayne. You have to wait a few days again. Go to the nightclub in the meantime and talk to Jack the Semino order guy and ask him about the referral friend program. Then go back to Chinatown and enter the bar. Your client is there. Tell him about the seminal order and get easy a thousand dollars from Jack. Return back to Wayne and he has made a big machine. The machine fails when activated and he starts rambling about his schizophrenic episode. You can continue the story in patch. That's the whole game. I have to wait until the next update to finish it. If you want the game achievements, I will provide you with a guide in the description below. Conclusion, it's a pretty entertaining and weird game. I liked playing it and I 
got provided with free content. It's a big mess and I think the developer was on crack when writing the story. Cuckold Simulator is 3 euros and 29 cents. It's worth buying if you wish to melt your last remaining brain cells. But before I inevitably finish this video, I have to review the developer's second game, Tyrone vs Cops, the other gifted game. It's just like the in-game game Night 7, but with more features. You can purchase upgrades by earning points which you get from killing pigs. Enemies can drop random weapons, but when you talk to the glowing fed, you can ask her to give you additional power and take you to the nightclub. For additional power you need 60 kills in one life, I think, and 150 kills for the club. The power is the guns you get in the start, the sniper, the RPG and the rifle. The club is just the club in cuckold, but everyone is meaner. There are four types of normal enemies, the handgun cops, the snipers, grenade spammers, there the reason I die the most in the game, and katana cops. There are four bosses, they are not that hard, the gatling gun cop, the katana cop, the suicidal dog spammer and the occultist. The best threat kill them with the RPG. Conclusion, it's a fun but short game, there is not much to it except endlessly torturing yourself in an endless cycle of violence. Very good game, it's 79 cents on steam. I have to clear my mind now from the bizarre story this game has and take my mood stabilizers, which my mother put in the cheese and I've never been the same before. I have to play a new game which my other dear friend bought me and it's even weirder than this one. Adios mi amigos, happy Christmas and new years, have a nice day, rip your skin there and inside it. I just wanna fuck a dude, his cum is so sticky like glue, I made his dick hard and it grew, his dick is so cool, sucking on him right after school, his dick is all covered in my drool.